Shippo is back cooking for you today, it's my first episode So I'm gonna make a, a buckwheat blood sausage on the onion Fry, traditional Polish way, old school timer And look at her, uh, she's beautiful, very difficult to find But she's the one, lovely, tasty, flavorful Alright, first I'm gonna cut two medium-sized onions into feathers, we call it feathers. Some people might dice it, but I think it's not good, it's better to just cut onion into feathers, just uh, show you how to do it. I go fast, that's the way how you should uh, uh, cut the onion into feathers, it's the best way for blood sausage, I think, in my opinion, okay? The first one is on the way. Maybe uh, we cut like this much should be fine look how it looks it's black it's uh, black with it's old school time uh, just prepared a certain wine uh, very difficult to find nowadays so I'm happy that I can show you how to do it just uh, I need to take it out this is old uh, casing uh, just take the whole inside find this way okay first one done I don't know how it goes maybe uh, hopefully it's not gonna be only one episode I'm planning to make more you know some nice food now in Polish but also from all over I like Orient I like Italian and also US fast food everything basically big time all right, the, 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 the pan is hot enough and I go with canola, I think it's one of the best. If you're really hardcore, maybe you go with the lard. It's pork on pork, but I go with canola oil. Not too much like this. First, uh, go uh, onion. And you, and you hear the sound, the sear. Just work uh, with the onion, not too much, but let it sweat a little bit. Uh, when it comes to spices, you basically only need salt and pepper, that's it, you know. You're gonna enjoy the uh, the, the fresh uh, taste of uh, black sausage, that's, that's the best. It should more or less look like this, a little bit softened, uh, not burn or anything, a little sweaty, soft and nice, waiting for blood sausage. We go first, I uh, cut it with, uh, into slices quite uh, thin, because it's gonna still uh, dissolve on the pan and uh, make a uh, nice, uh, beautiful, uh, some kind of uh, paste. The blood sausage is quite fatty itself, so actually you don't need that much oil or anything. It's old school, done with a certain, uh, uh, what do you say, knowledge of old people. Taking the sausage uh, with, the, with the paper and just sliding over to the pan, Work with my uh, wooden spoon to, you know, like this, make it smaller a little bit. It's gonna look like, uh, basically like a paste. What's important, you gotta mix the black sausage with onion. So they, uh, but remember, don't do, uh, don't uh, add too much onion because it's about black sausage. I mean, it should look like this. Don't overwork it, don't work too hard, you know, don't make it too crispy or anything because it should be like fried, but not too hard. I salt a little bit, not too much, careful because sausage is a little bit salt itself. Then of course, uh, freshly ground black pepper, a little bit. I can hear, you know, when I work with the spoon that the uh, sausage is sound okay, onion is mixed together with it, and I think it's done. Let's, let's do it. All right, it's time to take off the stove, like this. Look at him. 
she's beautiful, she's done, she's waiting for you, like big timer, old school man, you know, come and enjoy the meal like it was back in the 80s, even in the 90s, the last great decade. I think I'm gonna be quite traditional with this one, I go like uh, blood sausage. Here I go some, uh, I, I gotta admit I bought it, I didn't make it myself, even though I think uh, if, you, if you do it yourself it's the best, I bought it, it's like cucumbers in the brine, open it and, and it should go well with the uh, sausage, I, I take a couple, they're delicious, you can even uh, drink this uh, juice if you're a little bit drunk, I don't know how it feels, never been drunk. I got to change my shirt because the, the brine is quite powerful. I'm back, I'm back. They say it's nice with the mustard, so uh, maybe one or two teaspoons should be well. Should be fine. Look at this bread. This bread is pure gold. Difficult to find, you know, just keeps, uh, you know, many days without like going cold or something like that. It's nice and some butter so let's do it, let's try it for my fans all over let's see if some memories from childhood mm. That's the way I like it. Do it at home if you can get the right ingredients. Gonna be more. Mm.